Hello, I'm Sylvia Hodges. I'm the Director of Research Services at Timetrix Legal Analytics. I'm excited to be here at the reInvent Law Conference in Dubai. I'm here to talk with you about the influence of procurement today. And what I have to say is client expectations clearly have changed. In fact, procurement is becoming more and more important when it comes to corporations buying legal services. And procurement uses a lot of data and benchmarks. I've been studying purchasing decisions for the last six to seven years. And most recently, I conducted a survey on the influence of procurement on the purchasing of legal services. Our book buying legal is now in the marketplace. Procurement is typically involved due to a top management mandate and is quickly becoming more commonplace. In some companies, the influence of procurement dates back to as early as the mid to late 1990s, but we found that procurement's influence has been soaring in the last few years. Typically, procurement uh, first sources routine legal services and legal commodities. Many of the survey participants that we had have been involved in the last few years. Interestingly, 19% of the survey respondents have a JD, so they clearly understand legal services and they drive good value in the conversations. The majority of the remaining 81% hold MBAs and bachelor's degrees, typically in business or finance. So in other words, they're very data-driven people. The role of procurement has always been based on the idea of cost control getting external suppliers to reduce that price and preventing departments from unnecessary spending through managing what is being purchased. And our survey confirms this. We found that procurement professionals get involved to manage cost as well as to introduce and conduct a more efficient purchasing process. Of the different roles in the buying center, procurement professionals typically act as gatekeepers, as buyers and as influencers. However, they're not the decision makers or the final deciders. In other words, they negotiate or develop the contract, they conduct information search and identification of providers, but they do not select the law firms. More specifically, procurement professionals typically do not decide which firms are on the shortlist. It is still the GC and the in-house lawyers who make these decisions. Our study indicates that procurement professionals influence 41% of the budget for outside legal counsel. What was interesting here was that there was a significant variation in the responses. So in some companies, procurement is involved only in a very small area, so you know, for just particular, um, typically commodities. And in other companies, procurement is involved basically in all legal spend. We also found that procurement professionals are involved in sourcing a wide range of legal services. So they typically source anything from litigation to transactional work to advisory services. For procurement professionals, the most critical selection factors for, uh, when selecting law firms was value, specifically experience with similar matters and service excellence. Service was particularly interesting in my opinion as almost all survey participants stressed its importance. Less important were, interestingly, the lowest price, as well as industry rankings. So many different publications who nominate leading lawyers, that was not important to procurement professionals. When procurement professionals are involved, standard practices are billing guidelines and invoice review processes. Procurement is involved in data-driven negotiations. As I said before, they're very data-driven and they use data because data works. They've been using data in other areas and now they're using it for procuring legal services. At the same time, as law firms increasingly employ pricing managers, legal departments have to be well prepared when going into negotiations with their clients. Whether you collaborate with your colleagues in procurement or not, it is really important today more than ever to have data as a basis. We've long believed and it was now confirmed in our study that four factors are particularly important for successful negotiations. It's now expected that you have proper history, data, perspective and benchmarks. These are more important today than ever. So big data, having data, benchmarking is the name of the game. Thank you very much.